Hello, everybody. It is We are now officially one week into our raw rehab experiment, and today is weigh-in Sunday. And I just had an opportunity to just kind of scan through some of the comments that you all have left on the weigh-in thread, and I am like, I mean, I sat there and my mouth was open, and my husband was like, "What? what's wrong? And I said, no, nothing is wrong. I'm just like blown away by so many of you all have made um, – progress this week, and I don't mean just like a little bit of measly progress, but a lot of you have really lost um, a lot for one week, I think, and, you know, I was shocked that I lost two pounds, because to tell you the truth, I have been working so hard on this site and on some of the other things that I have going in my day-to-day life that I haven't done, like, the most perfect that I could if I were more focused on actually what I'm putting in my mouth, but... Um, you know, have definitely been conscious of it, but I mean, some of you guys have lost like three pounds plus, and um, you know, and I know there's always going to be those ones, which I'm usually in the group that, you know, is a slow loser. Um, my metabolism is not as fast as it used to be, as so I, many of you can relate to that, but um, I'm just really encouraged, and as a group, I think those of you who've done really well really help to encourage some of the ones who have it because it really lets them see that if you follow uh, a raw food program diligently and you try to get some exercise, you will lose weight. I mean, it's just it's just that simple. Um, I wanted to talk about today something that's really been on my, my heart this week, and I thought Sunday would be a, a perfect time to do that. Um, I had talked to a couple of people um, who've emailed me and just talking back and forth about different things, and Um, I just wanted to make something really clear to you all who are on this journey with me that, um, you know, when I was talking to Matt Monarch on that first video, which many of you saw that, um, I feel like I was a little bit misleading. And also even the video that I did on raw foo, and I really just wanted to kind of confess that to you all, that as I've gone back and looked at those videos, what I basically sounded like is that I gained all this 35 pounds that I put back on this year, uh, and within the last year, I gained all that just for this book project, and that is misleading, and that is not true. Um, about a year ago, I was finishing my Juice Beast, and I think I weighed like somewhere in the 140s, which I'm 5'7", and weighing 140 pounds for me, I mean, I would just like be thrilled to be back there again and back in my skinny jeans, but um, I was feeling really good, and I maintained that weight loss for quite a while. But during that time, um, I was going through some some changes. Uh, My daughter was 15, and she was going through a really kind of a rebellious time. My father just went through a divorce, and my dad's almost 80 years old, and so the divorce was very difficult because I was really having to walk through the whole thing with him because he needed my help. And so he ended up losing basically well over half of everything that he had. Um, So he was forced to move in with my family, and so my dad and his dog moved in with us in in August of last year. And my dad is really, truly, like, the nicest person you've ever met. And so having him here was truly a joy for our family. There was no no infringement whatsoever. Um, Other than my dad's real into southern cooking. And so... That's probably when things started to really kind of spiral out of control for me because I was very easily staying raw until dinner. And then at dinner, I was cooking a full meal, which my husband loves it when I do that. My dad loved it. The kids are more likely to eat my cooking as opposed to some of the raw things that I make. So I just was compromising. I was compromising what I was doing and trying to do the the best of both. Uh, But it's probably what I was cooking. That was the culprit. And then um, just some health issues that I started experiencing, obviously, because I was so clean from the juice feast. And then here I've gone back to eating a partially heavily cooked diet, you know, in the evenings. And so those pounds began to start creeping back on. And then in January, when I started negotiating with this publishing company, and it started to look like maybe this book deal was going to happen, I think that's when I just sort of was like, screw it. I'm just going to eat because that was sort of my vision all along is if I'm going to do a book like this, then, you know, I, I want to I want to live it. I want to do the diet. I want to be able to say that, you know, eating this way did this for me. 
and it did this for this many other people. So that's why you're along for the ride. But I just want wanted to say that I feel like I might have misled some of you all, and I wanted to just really confess that to you, that I, I feel like that was wrong. And um, it just made, has made me feel really uncomfortable. And when I was sitting in church this morning, it really just um, – the, the message really tugged at my heart, and I really felt like today would be a, a great and perfect opportunity, as we're discussing our weight, to really come, come clean with you and tell you that I gained weight primarily because of the stresses of life. And I know that most of you can relate to that. But um, I just want to thank you for being part of this experiment. And, I mean, I am so totally pumped up by reading what you all are writing, and I do feel like it's a little out of control for me because I'm really not able to keep up with every single one of your blog entries and, you know, adding the recipes, but I feel like I'm getting a better handle on it, and, you know, we've lost some members just because they're they're not able to really put their focus on what we're doing, and so most everybody that got the boot has been really very kind about it and very understanding, so hopefully, um, hopefully I didn't offend anybody by doing that, and there's probably still some others that will, you know, slough off here over the next week or so. But one thing I wanted to just mention to you, because I've read a lot about emotional eating, and um, which is what I'm talking about as well, you know, stresses of life. But when Matt Monarch and Angela Stokes were here uh, two weeks ago, maybe three, it's, I've lost track of time, Angela was nice enough to give me her book, Raw Emotions. And I don't know if any of you all are familiar with this book. Some of you may have it. But I've just started going through a little bit of it, and there's such great information in this book. And so if you're struggling with emotional eating, I would highly recommend getting online. You can go to rawfoodworld.com and order Angela's book. If, if you, um, you might even check with your local library. It's not, a, I mean, it's not a really old book, but libraries probably would carry it. So you might want to check and see if that's available in your area. But um, I really plan on reading this over the next few weeks, and as things jump off the page at me, I'm definitely going to be sharing information that I think might be life-changing for some of you. So um, I just really am looking forward to starting fresh next week. I've, I've had a good week, but I know I could do better. I know I could exercise more, and I know I could be a little bit more meticulous on the amounts of food that I'm eating. So I'm looking forward to starting fresh on week two tomorrow. And uh, again, thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you tomorrow.